President Gear, Comanche Nisle, Tol Hana, Bosses, Chin, Otto, Comanche Dashi Che, Cluster Dashi Melly. It's good to be with you all this morning on this uh, November 3rd, Election Day uh, COVID 19 Town Hall update. As we always do, we open up with prayer. So let us begin. Uh, our president is in uh, Shanto, Arizona. So he'll be coming on very shortly. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Okay. God, we thank you. We ask, Father, for your blessing this day. Father, protect our people, Lord. Forgive us our trespasses, Father. Uh, forgive us when we we uh, uh, don't see the need to to um, to discover you, to count on you, to press on you, to ask you for uh, your protection and salvation. Lord, we thank you again that we can uh, govern a nation uh, in your great wisdom. Father, today, let many be awakened, Lord, for the need to activate themselves, Lord. Today is national election, Father. I pray many vote, get out and, and just be uh, uh, activated and, and participative in their uh, election process in this uh, United States of America, Lord, uh, a nation that you convened, a nation that you uh, gave birth to. So we thank you. We give you praise for it, Lord, in Jesus' name. Uh, Lord, be with us in this meeting, this update meeting, Father, uh, the information that will be disseminated and handed. May the people that uh, can hear it and see it, Lord, run with it, Father, and Lord, uh, uh, be able to be productful and, and prosperous in uh, their communities and within their families. Lord, we pray protection upon our people. Lord, be with us in this time. We thank you again. Uh, we pray blessings upon the land, Father God. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. So without further ado, as we always do, every town hall update meeting that we have, we open up with prayer. And so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the president of the Navajo Nation, Jonathan Nez, out in Shanto, Arizona, sir. Yes, child. Go ahead, Mr. All president. Right. Can you can you all hear me? We got you. All Please. right. Good. Good morning, everybody. We're uh, in Chanto, Arizona. It's 2.18 now, and people that are listening out there, uh, today is election day. I put out a Naho Ati Facebook Live, be Aro Are, Danikin Nadigido, the Isono Sagi. Today, a ya at the Igni, so Ado Nad Sosto, a Bella is lean at Eda, a Aneta, a ya, the Dai Nishigi, a Doge Ian, that Nita do Leto, Nad Sostan, that Nito Leto. Any Nagi, a Yadi, Nashnigi, Joe and the Kong Oya Dena, the Skid, Benina, a Nat Sosigi, Bella, the C. Clean, so Asian he spells and all that. A con the Navy K of a cow, Bahane, Aro Hanen Hitchekonda, he has she de Jagate, Ian de Nita, no, the Yada Chip. So any Hitch Ashton, that Nagido. ニケジョパデニケチケロシネアシモネコアティタナズネレアダイニソヤチヤントディナソスンダニギノウェドレティチジョナスネギエビツアデイトオブニナアロバンダフィズネアクイチンレアディドコスンツカギナスデイツアタ
Electricity <laughs> あの、ね、あの、ね、あの、ね、あの、ね、あの、ね、あの、ね、あの、ね、あの、ね、あの、ね、あの、ね、あの、ね、あの、ね、あの、ね、あの、ね、あの、ね、あの、ね、あの、
あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
They are following directions. I don't see any food vending here. Uh, nobody handing out uh, cards or posters. And I appreciate the community of Shanto leading the way and listening to their leaders here and their public health experts, the doctors and the nurses. Uh, so the public health emergency order states that absolutely no vending, no food, no exchange of any type of information uh, during the voting. And so what we want to let everybody know is hold each other accountable. We've been getting a lot of phone calls uh, this morning various chapters saying hey there's a food booth out there's people handing out cards you know let's let's hold each other accountable let's respectfully tell them that's not allowed they might not know it it's not allowed and follow the public health emergency orders uh the other is the cares act project on thursday we'll have a little bit more update on that but as you know 714 million dollars has been distributed to navajo people and much of that was allocated for power line projects water line broadband telecommunication and we have stories of people that are saying thank you to the navajo nation uh one example last friday a disabled young man first time ever got electricity through the cares act funds and they were very thankful for uh that assistance and you know we are trying to get those dollars spent by december 30th of this year so we're doing as quick as we can as much as we can and everybody is uh, is knows about the 49 million dollars that was allocated for hardship assistance those applications uh started to go out thursday and friday of last week to our elders and disabled individuals and monday was the start of the online application process guess what over thousands and thousands of navajo people submitted opened up the website at the same time and there was just so much congestion that we had to hold off uh at that time and take uh, uh, just a, a few at a time but it, it is online now if you have the ability to go to the internet online but because of the crashing of the online site we decided from this monday to next friday to continue to do the hard uh applications the hard uh, the paper applications so that's going to continue on visit our facebook page it has a list the same list from last week this uh, is going to be used this week so if you need uh your application and you need help or elders need a navajo speaker go to one of those sites it's all over the navajo nation this is not first come first serve it'll be vetted based on hardship and i know a lot of people are saying we all got affected if you all got affected by covid 19 then then by all means apply if you think you're okay your 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 finances are okay just will allow others to apply for the hardship uh funds as well uh and and i'll say i'll say that much i'm here with robert robert's from robert black is uh from uh shanto too so uh, we're back at our home turf today, and this is where it all began, huh? Yes. Uh, so uh, give our people an, an update uh, about the application process, how many of you guys were able to get out last week, and then okay. into this week as well, and then whatever you want to update on our people. I'll see the next to do Okay. Okay. Uh, あの、あの、どんなエンジニアに対してキムスマートコーディネーションをしていたのか、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの
あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
going to go back to vice president for his uh, presentation, just giving everybody updates on the public health emergency orders and also just getting everybody to take care of themselves during election. So back to you, vice president. All righty. Thank you, Mr. President out there on the campaign trail. November 3rd, 2020, uh, what a day. Um, just wanted to encourage you all, and uh, this is the day, so hopefully many of you are out there and you're voting and uh, you're being safe. I think that's the overriding message, is to be safe and uh, to uh, just uh, do your duty, vote, vote, vote. And so get out the vote today. Uh, this is a, uh, uh, a special time. Uh, we've heard it played out here over uh, recent uh, uh, months, you know, and how feverish the uh, um, environment ha has gotten all across the, the, the United States here. It, it's very important to uh, realize, too, that once this day is over, you know, regardless of who wins, uh, the need to come back to the center uh, to continue to uh, 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 fight uh, the COVID-19 virus and to unify and to uh, uh, be about um, um, being productiful in this new, I hate using this term, the new normal. Um, I think we all kind of create our new normals. Uh, uh, everybody's looking for improvement and, and enhanced quality of life. And so whatever that may be for you all out there respectively, you know, that's what we need to focus on. <clears throat> Early on in this pandemic, President and I have talked about coming out of this, well, we, we've talked about if we have to be uh, quarantined, uh, isolated, you know, uh, uh, locked down, uh, if we have to stay at home, if we have to be uh, within a curfew setting, that we should, you know, focus on those relationships and focus on uh, becoming uh, a better person a better uh, employer, a, a better employee, 
a better father, a better uncle, better grandpa, better, you know, on and on down the, the, ro the road uh, there or the line of, uh, of quality, of characteristics of being a human being in this uh, world that, in which we live in. And so we've challenged you all since early March, right, to do that, to uh, become a better uh, uh, Bible reader, to become a better um, um, community member, right, to become a better uh, leader in your family, in your community, um, on and on. And so certainly nothing's changed. We've had a lot of time to reflect. Um, I remember you saw <coughs> me uh, basically sit here, um, you know, idle for four and a half months and uh, it became too much for me. And I would look out and see people running and walking and uh, still, you know, had masks on and some didn't. But uh, certainly we were all challenged in this uh, as we uh, sat home and, um, you know, the closest thing was the cupboard in the refrigerator. So <laughs> this vice president started gaining weight and uh you know it just it, it just dawned on me you know i'm an active person i'm a um uh, um you know uh like to get out and, and run and so <clears throat> i think it was about J july 7th finally just uh i guess maybe met my my limit and i said uh i need to get out and run and so my family bought me some running shoes on father's day and so for two weeks i just looked at it uh, i prayed about it for two weeks it was just sitting there and then finally uh one morning just almost on a whim almost on a gumption but again i had been thinking about this for you know that long i had been um looking for uh a time in which to be confident in which to go out and, and to uh, to do this and so and again it wasn't like going into any crowds it was just running the trails running the the highways right running uh, uh out in the open and so uh one day it just happened i went out 5 a.m and i ran and then i kept it up for uh seven weeks well six weeks and then took the seventh week off kind of uh scripturally you know i uh i rested the seventh week and then i resumed it again then i got um an injury twisted my ankle and whatnot but it's been easier to resume and you know one thing in in life is especially those that are active and and um it, it's it's harder to start up and once you stop once you, you lie low and so uh, you know not wanting to uh create any fear or any tension in anybody uh the hardest thing to do is to start a new way of life a new program you know and you know as long as it's legal moral and ethical we should look at it and if it improves your life and maybe increases your energy we should look at it but certainly with your doctor's um, um knowledge of it and after a checkup so uh but what ensued in those seven weeks is i lost uh 20 pounds and um feel good feel great i'm still running uh got out yesterday and ran six miles and um it, it's just good so uh, i guess what i'm trying to say is uh, is uh, we can be just about as active as we always have been we just got to pick our places in our times and so uh, again prayed about it and uh, the desire was welling up within me and i felt the release uh, i believe that god had given me and then we did go out and so i've been running now for about eight or nine weeks ten weeks eleven I, I lost count i just enjoy running so get out there so for all of you any of you out there especially you know uh during this time um we have the week <laughs> sounds funny we're allowed to go out and and run or walk five miles from our homes but uh it is permissible by the uh emergency health order uh but you know at that there's a lot of things and qualities about the uh, uh um, emergency health orders that we put out that place stipulations and protocols uh on our our livelihoods and our lifestyle here on navajo and so certainly you know one has been the uh, essential businesses have been open uh, we've established the fact that our navajo people are consumers right uh during a lockdown uh we're just consuming elsewhere and so we've been advocating to open up our businesses uh, with the caveat, right? That, uh, you know, uh, these businesses uh, are mindful and uh, uh, adhering to the protocols. And so that's been our problem. I'm just laying it out there for you. Uh, 
you know, those of you who are wanting uh, uh, to live life as normal as can be, you know, we all have that. Uh, we long for the way life used to be. And so uh, with that, <clears throat> when it's not attainable, we get antsy. Uh, you've heard of pandemic fatigue. You know, this pandemic has taught us new words <laughs> and who says old dogs can't learn new tricks right well you know this is a, should be encouraging for those of you out there you know maybe I, uh, frustration has set in and then fatigue has set in and you know uh read books you know uh back to what president and i were advocating for read books become knowledgeable right in this um election and, and going forward you know uh i i understand about any I understand a lot of things. I'm not good at any one thing. I understand a lot uh, internationally, nationally, uh, probably enough to get me in trouble. <laughs> LOL. Um, and, and, you know, uh, we, we've been, and it's, it's played out. No, there's nothing that's uh, not being withheld from transparency, obviously. Uh, you know, it's just uh, you have two men that are that are open and honest and transparent. We're prayerful, and uh, here in this election season, all we want is the best for our people. And nothing's changed really since the time that we ran our campaign, Neslizer. And you know, we focus on on uh, bringing the enhanced quality of life, maybe some government transformation in this. And then the pandemic hit. So for the last nine, ten months, uh, just. Boom, we stalled. And then we got to, you know, we'll worry about $714,189,631.47 in which to spend the largest package ever given to an Indian nation. And I get it. I get it. It came with some uh, some strife and some political, uh, I, I guess, uh, positioning and whatnot. But, you know, being that as it may, uh, we have this money now and that some of you will be benefiting from um uh, fifteen hundred dollars for hardship and i don't disagree that uh, you know there has been hardship placed on everyone and so as you are out there uh be mindful too uh, that you know not everybody is going to get some some money that everybody wants everybody wants money right i mean it's the it's the rule of the land uh, that's how we trade that's how we get goods and services how we buy food and put food on the table we work hard for our, our our money and to take care of our families and some have been allowed in this pandemic to do that to uh work and to receive steady paychecks a lot of you out there sadly have not been able to uh, earn an income <clears throat> have not been able to readily put food on the table you know and that's why we appreciate the uh, assistance that has come we don't want to become dependent on it but we appreciate those many 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 organizations that have come uh, president has, uh, you know, done very well, his leadership to uh, get this uh, uh, assistance out there, the food and the resources, the PPEs, cleaning supplies, all out there. Uh, there's been many organizations that have uh, raised up and are still doing that. So God bless them. Uh, may the Lord keep them and protect them in their um, uh, serving the people. And really, I guess I want you all to focus on that. After this election day, tomorrow will be a new day. Some of it will be bleak for, uh, it'll be bleak because uh, their 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 uh, candidate lost, and some it'll be as bright as all get out, and they'll be excited because their candidate won, or candidates won. And so again, we're all in this together. But the need to right now to decide all across our land that we will work together, um, no, no more arguing, just, uh, you know, uh, agreeing to disagree and, and, and working to bring enhancement to our people. So certainly President and I will be of that uh, uh, of fabric uh, out and abroad, uh, bringing uh, hope and, and, and encouragement to the people. And, and so at that, I guess as it's played out, I've been kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, I guess the, uh, the the forefront for the spiritual prayer. And, and that doesn't mean that nobody's not spiritual or prayerful, right? It's just... It's just how things go. Uh, your 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 talents and your your gifts are kind of rise up, and so being a former pastor it was a no brainer. Uh, you know, taking it, and I've used that office and that capacity and the blessings of our Creator that have He's given me in my experiences, and I've, I've flowed in that during this pandemic. And you know, some of that you all have not agreed with, and some a large, a large, large number of you have supported and sent out and said we're praying for you and jonathan and we're praying for the navajo nation and we're praying for the people <laughs> it's like that's enough fire to stoke my engine is uh you know i don't i don't need um 
notoriety, but that's come. I don't need uh, favor, but that's come. And God bless those that are praying for us and, and praise the Lord that the favor has come. And, and we use that to bring change to our people. And so uh, having been invited to the National Mall to pray for not only the Navajo Nation, in recognition of our Navajo Nation code talkers, who God has blessed us with in 1930, 40, right? I mean, these men, they were born for such a time as that, that they were used in their language, the gift of their language. If you remember, uh, the Bible says that there is no language that is insignificant. They're all created by our Father. Our Heavenly Father. And so he used it to deliver America in its most trying time. And so as we come to this election, yeah, let us be remind, reminded of that, you know, that we are all in this together, that every tribe, every tongue needs to uh, just be in a place to be thoughtful, to take a self inventory, to, to look within themselves. The Bible says that uh, God has put eternity in our hearts. Eternity is in your heart. You'll always be ascribing. You'll always be looking. You'll always be uh, desiring more, not only for yourself, but for your people to have a higher plane, to high, have a higher level of understanding. And uh, it's that you have eternity in your heart. You're longing for heaven. And so you grow and you mature in your present knowledge and you pray to Creator. Yeah. Lord, give me wisdom. Give me knowledge. And then you flow in that. And so certainly in this time during this pandemic, we've uh, uh, been able to, to pray and be used in prayer, to be used to lead a, a nation and to be a, a spokesman or a mouthpiece. Uh, the Bible uses those. They're, they're called uh, watchmen. They're called sages. They're called prophets, apostles. They go out and they uh, send and, and deliver messages. And so certainly we are, are those types and leadership here. And so certainly uh, from the office of the vice president here, we want to uh, let you all know that uh, this is a time to really uh, pray for the Na Navajo Nation and to pray for our great nation. And though we see things, you know, that, that we don't agree with abroad, we can become part of that mechanism that changes it, that becomes used, that becomes uh, qualified to enact and to flow within it, you know. And I can say that because in 2016, I advocate, I, um, I um, activated myself uh, on the steps of the Capitol in Santa Fe and heard prayers and, and prayed for the nation and, and was moved and compelled so much to become active. And lo and behold, here we are four years later as the vice president of the Navajo Nation. And, you know, I'm not saying that the world moved for me. I'm just saying that I joined the world. <laughs> I became part of that and and then was, uh, uh, I guess, uh, favored after that and then rose to this level <clears throat> to be used to, to bring messages, to be used to uh, bring unity, to be used to uh, uh, speak of our Heavenly Father. I am not ashamed of the gospel. I'll put it out there and uh, I wear my gospel emotions on my sleeve, right? And so I'll, I'll not change. I'll continue to go forth and, and prayerfully lifting up the name of Jesus that he'll draw all men to him. It's not about me. It's not about, you know, uh, the things I do. But really, what is the Lord saying to us? And so I'll close with this. I, I believe the Lord on this day is, is wanting uh, the, the people of the land and the world to acknowledge him. Be still and know that I am God. Right? He places leaders in place. He raises up leaders and he takes them down. And he's looking to and fro throughout the earth, looking for those who will worship him in spirit and in truth. And so certainly this is a time for that. And so all across the land, I pray that you are all prayerful uh, to just stop and to pray for the nation, pray for this election, pray for the unity that's going to be needed. We hear so much about the um, uh, protests that will happen, the riots that everybody's expecting. And, and I, I'm like, they're like placing fear in everybody's heart that this will happen. And, you know, one of the things I know is that uh, out of your heart will flow the issues of life. Whatever's in your heart will come out of your mouth. And, and I need to speak to this peace. Let love rule and reign in the land. We are all human. We all bleed red. We are all brothers and sisters. Let love rule and reign across the land regardless of the results of this election, right? We're all in this together. We're all fighting a virus that is is uh, relentless. It, it, it shows no favor, no favoritism. 
person. It is not a respecter of people. Uh, you have health, dis uh, you know, uh, uh, conditions right now. You're very, very well suspect. So you should stay home and uh, save lives, right? And those that are out and about, you know, we need to be mindful. Let's wear our mask. I got to put my mask on here real quick here. Um, oh, sorry. Oh, wrong one. Um, I got to put my mask on here. Fighting scouts. We can be, we can be humorous. We can be uh, joyful that we are all Dene. You know, we are all, all, all uh, human beings created in God's image. And so on this day, election day, tomorrow being a new day again, some will be happy, some will be saddened. But let's all realize that we're in this together. <clears throat> and on this um, July, <clears throat> July, can I go back to July? <clears throat> on this November 3rd, uh, election day, uh, town hall, COVID-19 update. Um, let us be prayerful again for the nation. And when we wake tomorrow there, we roll up our sleeves just like every other day. And we become the best person that we can. By one degree, you've heard, many of you have heard, by one degree, we can change our environment. We can change our surroundings. Again, water does not boil at 211 degrees. <clears throat> It'll sit there and, and not really uh, change much. It'll, it's getting ready. It's getting ready. It's getting ready. How many of us are getting ready to be the best person we can be by one more degree of extra effort? I'm going to bed early, waking up early, uh, going to bed and uh, you know, prayerful, waking up with a positive attitude, reading the Bible, reading the Word, something positive, singing songs, singing hymns, being joyful, reminding us that we're all in this together. Let love reign and rule in the land. And I believe that if we do that, out of our hearts will flow the issues of life. We'll have great encouraging messages in which to give to our brothers and our sisters. <clears throat> we'll offer encouraging words in this time when, again, politically things may look bleak for some and look bright as heck for, for others. Uh, we are all in this together. And so uh, whatever the results are, you know, we go forward. And so I, I challenge you all to uh, let's uh, have contingency plans because we know where we want to go and what we want to happen. But if it doesn't happen, we can't be so set in our ways that we'll not see the blessings of, of working together. And so uh, this day uh, from the office of the president and vice president, Jonathan is out in Chantal, and uh, I've been motivated to maybe, hey, I, I'll probably get out and shake some hands and, uh, well, bump some elbows. You know, again, we're all challenged by the way things used to be. Uh, we need to be motivated and how we can be a better <clears throat> elbow rubber, <laughs> how we can be an, a better encourager, how we can, you know, encourage people in this time of hardship and be prayerful, <clears throat> come alongside those and uh, take up their cares and concerns. So, yeah, just had a lot on my heart this morning and uh, praying for the nation. And uh, as, after I get off this town hall, I'll uh, hit my knees and pray again, pray, 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 pray. I'll be praying uh, pretty much the whole day for uh, this, the outcome of this election. So may God bless you and God be with the Navajo Nation as he's with the United States. These United States of America reminded that these, this nation was founded on godly principles godly principles and he loves this land and it is the number one uh, uh, nation in the world after Israel and uh, it's it just one of those things you know if we uh, just uh, adhere to a lot of uh, his uh, principles that will be successful so God bless you and uh, looks like I have JT Willie all um, lined up here and ready to go chomping at the bit and uh, we appreciate him and his leadership and uh, for all the things that he's done over as director. <laughs> Father be with you. So JT, ladies and gentlemen, JT Willie, the executive director of our division. I cannot do it. Yeah, oh, thank you. God bless you. Yeah, Mr. Vice President Otto Yate, 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 Benedo, Shana, Shea, Ya, Adonan, Shigate, Papaha, Inshado, Kachini, Passes Team, Ashihe, Inasuchedo, Kia, Ani, Dasanale, Auto DA, Division of Economic Development, the Nek Ezeko, Eya, Nanish Hanchkarigi, A Shana, Nishkola, Auto Eya, D, Division Director, A Salit, so I see Hehe, though, Nizonagoshi, 
um pahain sin chikeno chikezen arashe ya bahas anet aisi e nasha akoho inda di shna nishpulo do aisi nishono goshi di nihe artisans do nihe businesses entrepreneurs nishono go biket na nishto nishono goshi di kong ba bakat nad wud yet di de ahehe Thank you very much for tuning in this morning. My name is JT Willie. I oversee the Division of Economic Development. Thank you very much, Mr. Vice President, for that update. Otto, thank you um, to our president as well for the update from Chanteau, Arizona. Uh, we are here in St. Michael's at our main office for the Division of Economic Development. I do have some of the team who will be also speaking some to some updates as far as where we are at, what's going on today, and where we will be going this this week, and then our projections for the next couple of weeks. The Division of Economic Development has been overseeing the business and the artisan relief program. We have been assigned some CARES money to bring relief for aid. And we are also, within these past couple of weeks, assisting with the hardship assistance. As President mentioned earlier, there has been some glitches with the system so what we've been doing with our office here and all of our regional offices throughout the Navajo Nation, which include here in St. Michael's, Church Rock, New Mexico, Tuba City, Shiprock, Chinle, and Anith, is to getting assistance out to individuals that need help with the applications. To our elders, to our special needs individuals, who need help with the application. There is a team that has been formed here under the division that's been helping with the business and artisan grant. For the current time, they are all hardship able to get your application through the online portal. We do have individuals in place at all of those offices to help administer the paper application. We also have other offices who are also assisting us through this time. We started again yesterday. We will be working up to this coming Friday, every day bringing assistance to help with the application for the hardship. That includes the Division of Transportation, uh, Division of General Services, all of our veterans agency offices, and our parks and recreation at the different parks from Lake Powell Tribal Park, Four Corners Monument, Conwood Campground in Chinle, Navajo Welcome Center in Old Jato, and then also our social services is assisting those individuals within their client database from the Department of Family Services, Department of Self-Reliance, Navajo Indian Child Welfare Act Program, Navajo Developmental Disabilities Program, Navajo Treatment Center, and Navajo Department of the Net Education. I do have one of our team members who's joining us this morning, Ms. Daisha Holyan, who will talk a little bit to us about the hardship program. She has been working since the first day that we initiated this, and she has been helping to administer the program to bring assistance, technical support to our artisans, businesses. But during this time, um, she's going to give us an update on how the process has been going for the hardship application. So, Ms. Holyan, if we could have you speak to it. Hello, good morning. Yate Shea Desha Holyan you share the Tani Nishla Nanasha Bashina Habani Desha Che. Wega Deshanella Akutigo at A Nishlin. Hello everyone. Good morning. My name is Desha Holyan. I am from Kyoto Kenny, New Mexico. I'm one of the eligibility technicians. Originally I was helping with the artisan and the economic relief grant application. But due to the increase of applicants that are applying online, um, we have been helping the Office of Controller with the hardship applications. So the process for that is we review the manual applications with the individuals that are inquiring about these um, forms. So they come here to our building at the Division of Economic Development at Kerrigan Building 1, where we are assisting those in individuals. So if you do need help, we are here to assist you along with the Artisan and Economic Relief Grant application. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you very much, Daisha. So as we move on here, our next program that we oversee is the Artisan and Business Relief. Up to this point, as of yesterday, we have a total of 4,378 applicants. 
And of those individuals, about 2,000 have received assistance from us. They've been funded, and that's about $13 million. We do have some propositions that are put before leadership to get more monies out to our higher capacity businesses, as well as directing some more relief out to those individuals that need it. I have Mr. Douglas Capitan, who's been part of the main team in initiating this program back in May. He has also been providing technical support to individuals that have been seeking assistance from this program. So if I could have Mr. Capitan give us an update on the on the program to this point. Hello, thank you, JT. Yate, J. Douglas Captain, I'm from Crown Point, New Mexico, and I'm a senior project development uh, specialist here uh, within the Division of Economic Development. Um, we're currently accepting applications. We have extended the deadline of our CARES Act uh, business and artisan grant application to November 20th. So we're expecting a lot more coming in within these next three weeks. Um, so if you haven't applied, begin applying now. Um, it's better to get it in right now than to do it later. So. Uh, for the application process, we have updated um, the first part uh, to an online application. So you're going to go to www.navajoeconomy.org and begin part one and uh, upload your information there, including your CIB. And you'll also begin, um, after you completed that step, you'll need to move on to part two, which is the actual CARES Act grant, grant application. So both applications are available within the same website, www.navigoeconomy.org. Um, the process takes generally about one to two weeks if you complete everything um, carefully and thoroughly. Uh, our application process requires you to provide your business information. So when you're submitting, submitting your applications, be sure that you're thorough in describing your application information, your business information, so that way um, when we go through the review process, we ensure that you are a bona fide um, and legitimate business. Um, if you have questions, you can give us a call at 928-871-6544 and contact any one of our representatives who can assist you in getting information through. Uh, we also have locations out in Church, Church Rock, Ship Rock, Chin Lee, Tuba City, and on Mondays and Tuesdays, we have um, help available in Anneth at the Visitor Center in Anneth, uh, Utah. So let us know if you need assistance. Please bear with us at this time as well. We are receiving a lot of calls and inquiries. So we're trying to take care of those and manage those as appropriate as possible. Um, but we do require a little bit of patience on your end so that way we can get everyone's questions answered. So. Give us a call, and um, if you do have questions, we also have an email address that you can contact us too. That's Navajo Economy at Navajo NSN.gov. Again, that's Navajo Economy at Navajo NSN.gov. Thank you. Great. Otto, thank you very much to the team that's been in place. We were kind of like the first initiators of a relief program. And as we see the success as we move forward, our intentions are to reach as many individuals within the Navajo business sector, within the Navajo artist sector, to provide this aid. And that's what it was originally designated for at the beginning of the expenditure program. And then as we move forward now, it's making all the necessary changes so that as much as this assistant gets out to that demographic as possible, whether they're located here on the Navajo Nation or whether their business or establishment is located off the reservation, it is in our good intentions to move this program forward to its success within these next couple of weeks as we conclude on November 20th that Mr. Capitan mentioned. So, thank you very much for being very patient with us through this time. We know there's an urgency for deadlines as we approach the deadline for the CARES funds on December 30th. But as we move forward, we're looking to really strategize the maneuver moving forward with the program. And then also all of the information that we have been collecting to maneuver an economic strategy, enabling us for the success of the next five, 10 years of the Navajo Nation. So I will be turning time over to uh, Chits. Uh, Dr. Fowler, and thank you very much. Yeah. Good 
Go ahead, Pearl. You're on mute. Good morning, Donana, JT Willie, and thank you to President uh, Jonathan Nez and Vice President Myron Liza Shananta. Good morning, and and thank you for your report. And <clears throat> uh, good to see the people uh, in the community of Shanto as well. And to my colleagues who are also reporting um, this morning on the town hall. Uh, today is a special day. Uh, the elections uh, and it's a uh, election day throughout Navajo Nation and throughout many of our chapters. This was a day that my grandparents and my uh, grandmas would get dressed up and put on their best turquoise and fix their hair nice and go in to vote. And those are some of my great memories of my grandparents. And, uh, and then most recently, um, uh, my own mom, who is, uh, 83, did the same thing, early voting. She got all dressed up and, uh, under her mask and under her protection, under her, her gloves were her finest jewelry. And, um, there's something about today, election day, that our, uh, elders, uh, deem special. So let's continue that. Let's continue being um, diligent and, and exercising our right to vote. I did vote early and I voted safely as well. And that's a big message for today. Uh, Shay, the neck at Shay, Shay Pearl Yellowman in Shia Auto and Shlinigi A. Tena Bithin Shle. Not all is a Lena Bush's chain, Toba Honda Shiche, Auto Hanala, Nedishanella. JIC Tunin is Desa Adent Nasha. Auto, um, Auto Shachanala. Um, I'm a mother of three children and, um, I'll call the Nest Anshla. So I'm very thankful to be here. I'm the division director for the Division of Community Development. I want to update a few items that, uh, the Division of Community Development has been, um, tasked with under the CARES Act funds. One is under the legislation 47-20 where the bathroom additions and very thankful for many of our contractors partnering with NECA and many of the communities that have uh, worked with the contractors to um, complete the bathroom additions. That's something that uh, surfaced as a high need during the pandemic and we want to continue providing those services of completing the bathroom addition. So um, that is something that we were tasked with early on. Auto, we were tasked with um, the legislation 67-20. Under 67-20, it was the power line. The power line, the capacity, um, we also made or entered into agreements with other uh, power companies to ensure um, hard lines, meters, and looping and hard hard service hard service lines to many of our families. And President Nez mentioned earlier that it is um, moving forward. It is being implemented, and our families are receiving electricity for the first time. And that is a direct relief of COVID. Many of our people need electricity. Um, to store medication. Many of our people need electricity uh, uh, to, well, to light up their homes. And many of our people need electricity to um, just have daily use, daily operations, to get information, to get news, to have uh, um, information to the World Wide Web. Um, so many of our elders are now and families experiencing electricity for the first time in under 67-20. We are moving forward with um, providing electricity to, to many families. We are requesting for a scope, a change in scope um, to continue providing electricity to more families. And that's the changes we wanna make in a scope of change. Um, and so that those are some things that we're working on. We appreciate the partnership 
with uh, MTOA. We part we appreciate partnerships with other electric companies such as Continental Divide, Hamas Electric, uh, and and APS, and and many others that we have reached out to um, provide the direct relief of COVID. Arunana, we have uh, legislation CS73-20. Um, CS73-20 is the chapter distribution. That is the 90 million to chapter distribution. It is different from the hardship application and the hardship. Um, we, we support the need to address both. Um, there is a need to provide um, support to the chapters and to the chapter membership uh, and to the community members that the chapter serve. And then you have the hardship application process as well. And those legislations both have a portal and I do not, I want to be clear that they have a portal, but I just want to share that DCD, the Division of Community Development has been tasked with implementing 73-20, which is CS73-20, and that is the chapter distribution. In that CS73-20, there are roughly 10 categories of items or expenditures that we are assisting the chapters in purchasing. Some of those include PPEs, uh, essential sanitation items, essential fuel services or sources, food items, some infrastructure upgrades, infrastructure equipment, and emergency essential support and emergency uh, and payments and assistance to senior citizen centers. That's what we are working on. And uh, if you have questions um, in your chapter or uh, regarding your chapter, uh, and you, you might be a student uh, living uh, off the reservation, going to school, but you might have questions for your chapter, feel free to reach out to us or to myself. and We can connect you with your chapter to see how we can uh, coordinate, coordinate direct relief and direct um, um, services under CS73-20. And then lastly, I just want to close with, um, there has been a lot of movement on the Navajo Nation. Um, two weeks ago, uh, the portal opened up for the chapter distribution. Uh, and then last week, the portal for the hardship application, the hardship application, this is the, this is the application, the hardship application opened up. Uh, and then we had Halloween and now we have election day. Um, so there's a lot of movement on the Navajo Nation, and I'm asking to please be safe. If you have access and you can do the hardship application via internet and through the portal, please do so. It's safer and you are less at risk. If you have questions, if you have questions on the application, there are sources and websites that were shared, um, Mr. Willie shared, JT Willie should say, and Nidia Hasid, he shared that at the Kerrigan building, they are providing some technical assistance. We do have staff from DCD, ASC, many of our uh, chapter uh, ASC, SPPS staff um, can provide some assistance. So reach out to us and, um, and we can help you in providing some technical assistance I know um, we have staff that can help with um, elders uh, uh, needing some translation as well, and vice versa. So I'll, I'll end there. Uh, it's been a it's been very busy on the Navajo Nation the last three three four weeks, um, and we want everyone to remain safe, and we want everyone to continue to be safe. These town halls are really important because we really try to provide um, clear update information, updated information. I shared last week about being a connoisseur of good information. Please contribute on your social media pages of providing good and clear information. Um, misinformation is easy to share 
and misinformation is hard to clean up. Um, so be a part of the updated information, share updated information, and continue just to be a connoisseur of good information. So um, all in there and appreciate appreciate our leadership, appreciate um, uh, Nihinatani, President Jonathan Nez, Vice President Lizer, Adonhi Beish Beisa Anagi, our 24th Namo Nation Council, Adotkat Naznila, our chapter officials and chapter staff. And so, everyone, thank you. Appreciate. Um, we've gotten far. We've gotten through um, uh, a lot of, uh, we've gotten through this pandemic um, by working together. And we've gotten through this pandemic um, by relying on our traditional values. And we've gotten far by supporting one another. And we that will continue to get us further. And um, we have brought in experts. We have brought in medical experts. We have relied on our first responders and our police officers. And... We, we really have worked together. Let's continue to do that. So, yeah, yeah, I just want to say that and share that. Uh, next, I'll introduce um, Dr. Fowler, who will wrap up our town hall. So, yeah, Donana Adahulia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Yellowman. Yate, Shikedo, Shikne. And the egg could also eat shady, my deskies ninja. Ada Turichini Bashes chain, as it does not talk about the shed. So this Aho Eden Ada is a Nasha. Opae Yashan is not a division director of human resources. I be should eat live. Koyat Eshik Edo should never. Hello to all the listeners out there and welcome to our town hall. And we do this on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And today we have the most important day is our election day today. So make sure you all vote. Ado hashin saba a o kono u a i nik den da ke ashkwadi shik edo shud ne da akhosia. It's a hike. I like to thank all our frontline workers, all our workers out there with our Navajo Nation employees, and then also other enterprises. Um, we we appreciate all that you do for our Navajo Nation. And then also to our constituents, thank you for tuning in at this time. And 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 the virus is still here and there's still no vaccine. However, we do take, we would like for you to take extra precautionary measures. Continue to wear your mask. I'm not wearing my mask at this time because I'm in this office alone. We do have quite a bit of people that are out there in the voting areas. We, we want for you to continue practice social distancing. We want you to continue wearing your mask, use your hand sanitizer, frequently wash your hands. We also request that you avoid any social get together such as birthday parties, uh, you know, events, uh, ceremonial, it's a no winos and shikesha de ne, ashi inni, ashi in soko, baka joppa ini zende, ani hisi zido ta hui yam eyate. We like for you as 
constituents and our Navajo people throughout the nation continue to abide by the executive orders that are being released. Our first one that was released is our public health order related to voting. Voting is important. However, we, we, we do respectfully that you refrain from creating food stands, selling burritos, tamales, what have you. We want you to avoid the food sales at a lot of these areas and even distributing snacks. You know, we, we, we don't know where it was prepared. We don't know who prepared it. So that's why we're, we're eliminating those areas. So, you, you are granted two hours of administrative leave to vote. We did from the seventh, from the uh, 19th to the 30th, we did allow you to vote early just to avoid the large gathering. you know, the next part is we do, we are gathering our data for our workplace exposures. And we do have some offices that were that were exposed and we do have some employees that did test positive. So we're gathering all that data all the way from back in April to current. You know, we did ask our division director to gather us all that data, you know, as far as self-reporting. And as far as leadership, we encourage most of the leaders to uh, encourage or implement telecommuting within your division and programs. We do ask that you get to know your employees, where they're from, um, if they do have internet capabilities of their home areas. We would like for you to embrace technology. We want to automate effectively, efficiently. We, we do a lot of paperwork. We want to go paperless and start and start rethinking a lot of these solutions. We say that we're resilient. It's now that we approach a lot of those areas. We want to maintain our business. But in this unusual circumstances, Sakesin Nikizad Lini Bahwasyada Hajot the Nebuchadnezzar. 
penina and hitishnin in Zade isn't that the cha. Ado could a person that a jail dog on a hand that house are a job a bitch a darky ado anna and lady. Haladi asks no benchich and a hot table a gun like a customer service yitne. Hajob and a hinot him. Provide your utmost quality customer service to our constituent and our clients. We do have individuals, constituents that travel quite a ways, and if you're not available, and if your office is closed, it puts a hinder on the program and then a division. Then as a Navajo nation as a whole, we expect you to provide your most respectful manner to our people. If you do not understand the language, the Navajo language, get somebody that will speak the Navajo language. We have some of you that are being reported that you're rude if you know there's other people that can provide the quality customer service that can be employed i'm respectfully requesting out of respect for you to provide your utmost best customer service to our people it really hurts me when people tell me that your 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 employees are not providing best customer service and it's just not within our nation, it's everywhere. But if you put yourself in that customer's shoe, how would you want to be treated? You know, those are something, if you are not comfortable in providing that service, maybe it's time we get people that will provide the, the better customer service. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> We just have to prepare. We have to prepare ourselves. You know, Ado Sado Yat Ebech, Dahio Nele, Chumasan Dosh, Nele, and Nilen, E. Ado Ben, the Dosheta Sado Yat Ech, which is all Edo Ben, the Dog Yeseta, Nan, and Tint, and a Quande, Kashi, because of Zinipa or Adi Ehe. Ado Joyce Cardo e Hana at a San Hena that or Hatta Dine. Ah, as I need a shake edo should ne. Ado did the cospits are at that sea edo at all Sanaha at that sea edo and heart that old city not a zeal in it and Lenny to a hashing to a tisier in me. But Bahazen a co argi gay and a chin than he must son in his chain his gen hima. At the Christmas Papa at Sagi, but that old sick. Benny not a ninny eight zail in a deed the quest, but the na other could you the quest not eight at the baby or Jenny Asha for the not old seat at a gun. A Benny not bend up not kin hit it. No other age is eight any days in the spot. Listen to our clinicians, listen to our healthcare providers, they're the experts. They know the body system. They know the immune system. We, we tell you that getting a flu vaccine is important. So if you have not done so, please do so. Because once you catch the flu and you catch the COVID-19, it can put a strenuous system in your body. Hashin <laughs> Azado Yateho, Aho is the net, Ninde, a cup of Bahu, she had a shit in there. 
division directors da nothing ni ki to ke ha ka chin to ban ki de ab ka na cha de an le ga ha chin to ka sthui do sa ni ko che ka ko was na so sa de do ni ka ni ni a ko de ya do a che ta ha na i do be de ho ye a ko a de shin le a division economic development do office of controller a parking la o ta de sha e ha chin to ban na so sa ni ni a to de a ha da de ne Conahi has a little shit net or yego at the house here. Consaga ain't his